After years of playing catch up in the smartphone arena, Google is now poised to elevate its Pixel series into the realm of serious premium contenders. The Pixel Pro 9 XL boasts top tier specifications without any noticeable hardware drawbacks. Additionally, it introduces an exciting array of new A features, but can it truly rival Samsung's stronghold with the Galaxy S24 Ultra flagship? The competition is fierce, sowing this showdown between the Google Pixel 9 Pro XL and the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra will determine which Android flagship smartphone deserves your investment. Recently, Google appeared to be concentrating on producing budget-friendly flagship smartphones with smart trade-offs. However, the Pixel 9 Pro XL marks a notable change in direction, showcasing premium hardware specifications with minimal compromises. It still manages to be more affordable than Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra, particularly if you choose the smaller Pixel 9 Pro model featuring a 6.3-inch display. On this front, the Pixel 9 Pro XL actually secures Google's first advantage over the Galaxy S24 Ultra. While both devices boast impressive display features such as QHD resolution, a 120Hz refresh rate, and LTPO technology, the Pixel 9 Pro models gain a slight edge with their peak brightness of 3000 nits. In comparison, the Galaxy S24 Ultra offers a respectable 2600 nits. Although this difference is minor, as brightness is measured logarithmically, and the benefits diminish at higher levels, it's worth noting. Beyond the numbers, the Galaxy S24 Ultra provides a more practical advantage with its anti-reflective display. Additionally, the Gorilla Glass armor offers superior scratch resistance compared to the older Gorilla Glass Victus 2 used in the Pixel 9 Pro. This lack of glare makes the S24 Ultra one of the top choices for use in direct sunlight and bright environments. Shifting our focus to processing capabilities, the Pixel 9 Pro series marks the debut of Google's Tensor G4. While we are still evaluating its performance in real-world scenarios, previous Tensor chips have generally lagged behind the top competitors in the market. If this trend continues, the S24 Ultra, equipped with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip, may maintain a slight advantage. However, it's important to highlight that Google has introduced a vapor chamber this generation to enhance sustained performance. For most users, especially those who aren't heavy gamers, both devices will manage multitasking effortlessly. Speaking of multitasking, the Pixel 9 Pro boasts an impressive 16 gigs of RAM, a significant upgrade compared to the Galaxy S24 Ultra's 12 gigs. It's worth mentioning that some of this RAM is allocated for Google's AI models. Meanwhile, the Galaxy S24 Ultra features Samsung's Galaxy Eye Suite, but we have no information on any memory being dedicated to its underlying models. A significant and enduring distinction between Samsung and Google's flagship smartphones is the S24 Ultra's built-in S Pen. This active stylus conveniently fits into the device, eliminating concerns about misplacing it. In contrast, the Pixel 9 Pro lacks a stylus and does not offer support for one. Another key difference between the Pixel 9 Pro and the Galaxy S24 Ultra is their software approaches. Google's Pixel UI is known for its lightweight design, even as it has introduced useful features over time, such as an automatic call summary and the Pixel Studio app for creating AI-generated images. On the other hand, the Galaxy S24 Ultra features a more elaborate One UI skin, packed with a diverse range of AI-driven functionalities, courtesy of Galaxy AI. Both smartphones are set to receive software updates for the next seven years, which is an exceptional commitment in the industry. However, Samsung has a stronger history of delivering new A features to its older flagship models. For example, nearly the entire Galaxy A suite was made available for the Galaxy S22 series. In contrast, Google's artificial enhancements rarely extend to previous phone models. The Pixel 9 Pro and its larger XL version have adopted a flat edge design similar to that of the Galaxy S24 Ultra from Samsung. Unlike their predecessors, neither of these smartphones features a curved display, which is a positive development for those who use screen protectors, as it should simplify screen replacements. On the rear, the Pixel 9 Pro showcases Google's iconic camera bar, albeit with a fresh design twist compared to earlier models. In contrast, the S24 Ultra opts for a more streamlined camera layout. Your choice between the two will ultimately hinge on personal taste. However, if you lean towards smaller devices, your options are limited. The Pixel 9 Pro, with its 6.3-inch size, 
caters to fans who have been asking for a pro-level phone that mirrors the base model's dimensions. Notably, the Pixel 9 Pro does not skimp on hardware or features when compared to the XL version, except for slightly reduced charging speeds, likely due to the larger model's capacity to manage higher power levels. Google and Samsung have long been rivals in the camera arena. It's important to note that even if one smartphone boasts superior specifications, the other can easily reclaim the spotlight with better processing and software capabilities. This is particularly evident when comparing the Pixel 9 Pro and the Galaxy S24 Ultra. While we are still exploring the full potential of the Pixel 9 Pro's camera system, it largely retains the hardware from its predecessor. Notably, the front-facing camera has seen a significant upgrade, moving from a 10.5-megapixel sensor to an impressive 42-megapixel this time around. On the other hand, Samsung features a remarkable 200-megapixel primary sensor along with an additional 3x telephoto lens on the back. Although these specifications are striking, Samsung employs pixel binning, resulting in a final output of 12.5-megapixel images. This means that while it can capture intricate details, most users won't bother switching to the 200 megapixel mode. Furthermore, Samsung's processing capabilities have room for improvement. During our tests, the S24 Ultra struggled with fast-moving subjects. In contrast, the Pixel 9 Pro's upgraded selfie camera, boasting 42 megapixel, should deliver a noticeable improvement over the older 12 megapixel camera found in the S24 Ultra. Both devices are packed with a wealth of AI features that enable users to edit and manipulate subjects within their photos. The Pixel 9 Pro is also introducing some new Magic Editor functionalities, which may eventually be accessible to all Android users with a Google One subscription. The standard Pixel 9 Pro is equipped with a 4,700 mAh battery, which is quite impressive for its 6.3-inch screen. On the other hand, the Pixel 9 Pro XL boasts a more robust 5,000 mAh battery, which Google claims will provide 20% more longevity compared to the previous model. The enhancements in battery life can likely be attributed to the Tensor G4 chip and the updated display, but we will thoroughly assess the endurance of both Google devices in our upcoming reviews. In contrast, Samsung has integrated a full S Pen into the S24 Ultra while still managing to include a comparable battery. When paired with the efficient Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, this creates a smartphone that can last significantly longer. In our review of the Galaxy S24 Ultra, we discovered that it easily surpassed its predecessor, delivering over a dozen hours of screen on time during typical activities, such as web browsing and watching videos. Google has finally upgraded its charging recommendations for the Pixel 9 Pro XL, now suggesting a 45-watt adapter. This model utilizes the same standard as the Galaxy S24 Ultra, which takes just over an hour to reach a full charge. Impressively, the Pixel 9 Pro XL can charge from 0 to 70% in just 30 minutes, a significant leap from its predecessor that only managed to hit 50% in the same duration. However, it's worth noting that the smaller Pixel 9 Pro is capped at 27 watt for fast charging, which is 10 watt less than the XL version. On the bright side, the Pixel 9 Pro offers slightly quicker wireless charging capabilities, reaching up to 23 watt with the second gen Pixel stand. Both devices also feature reverse wireless charging. The Pixel 9 Pro series is now up for pre-order, priced at either $999 or $1099 based on your chosen size. With either model, you'll receive a full year of Google One A Premium, valued at $240 which is a great bonus if you were planning to subscribe for Gemini Advanced. Meanwhile, the Galaxy S24 Ultra debuted at $1,299 and is readily available through major retailers and carriers. Google introduced the Pixel 9 Pro just a few months after the Galaxy S24 Ultra hit the market, marking an earlier release than in previous years. Currently, you can find Samsung's flagship device, at a slightly reduced price, and it's likely to match the Pixel 9 Pro XL's price when it goes on sale. Additionally, the S24 Ultra comes with double the base storage minus 256 gigs compared to the Pixel 9 Pro's 128 gigs. This means that if you're looking for a larger Google phone with comparable storage to the S24 Ultra, the price difference becomes significantly smaller. The gap between Google and Samsung's top-tier smartphones has never been narrower. 
The Pixel 9 Pro XL offers fewer hardware compromises compared to earlier models, though it comes with a higher price tag. On the other hand, the Galaxy S24 Ultra maintains a clear advantage in certain aspects, such as being the sole smartphone equipped with an integrated stylus. If you're not a heavy mobile gamer or a dedicated note-taker, the Pixel 9 Pro is likely to satisfy your requirements and more. With its enhanced camera capabilities and Google's ongoing advancements in artificial intelligence, it stands out as one of the best value Android phones available. However, if you seek the most comprehensive Android experience with minimal trade-offs, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is probably your top choice. So, which flagship device would you prefer to purchase? Let us know it down below in the comment section, and for more updates do subscribe our channel, and I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, take care.